right. Good morning, Luca. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. How okay. are you doing? Okay, Luca, Luca. <laughs> tell us about these wonderful Black Crows Maris Core skis. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know where to start to be the ski because this I was a bit skeptical about them to when I before I tried them, and then I skied on them and I fell in love at the first turn. What is the great? It's kind of a great combination softer slalom ski. You can carve it really well, but when you take it into the off piece, it has a big shovel, so it helps you to ski better. That's yeah, I was very, I was very interested in the shovel actually. Yes. So it yeah. really helps you because it's a little, it's kind of the natural, genuine, the softer shovel the black mouse makes. So in the off piece, it makes it easier to turn. That's great. When you put it on the middle, it's actually really nice twin tip ski. You can do switch, you can go with the tricks. It's not as soft as uh, as a twin tip, so you can actually then take it to the run and carve out if you want to. And she turns like a gr like a dream, right? Oh, absolutely. Like me and these these ladies here, we got along very well. Okay. <laughs> Well, it looks like a great day, so now uh, you can fix the binding for my boots, and I'll be ready to go. Absolutely. And Luca, let's do that. Right. So, what's the best ski shop in in Zermatt, Luca? <laughs> yes, I meet. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> See you. better steer. Okay, couple runs in with the Mira's core. Um, one thing about this ski, when you're going really fast, the tips will shatter quite a bit, but that may bother some. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm kind of used to that with my Dupraz D2 uh, N ski and the O ski as well. So for me, no big deal. I love the turning. 
man, it feels so good on the turning. And uh, I'm gonna try to ski a little bit faster now. Of course, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just see, but it just turns on a dime. It's a wonderful feel. You press the downhill ski and the ski responds. I mean, it's amazing feeling. And I think that if you're living in a ski area and you wanna start the season, these are definitely the skis you want to take out because you really, uh, you just turn and turn and turn. You get into the rhythm, you get your strength, you get your legs under you, you feel great. So those are the initial impressions of the Mirrors course so far. I want to give a shout out to a couple ski channels. SkiEssentials.com. They are very thorough. And uh, when they talk about a ski, they've skied on it. And you actually, in many of their reviews, actually see them ski. So I hi highly recommend SkiEssentials.com on YouTube. Of course, the great storyteller is Lewis, I mean, Lewis, Lucas Catania. Lucas Catania, he's always skiing in deep powder through the trees in Utah. And uh, he's a great uh, cinema photographer. He really, he really tells the story. Really a uh, job well done, Lucas. And of course, my man, Elliot at Rickety Ski Reviews. The one reviewer who will tell you, and he's not going to give you any bullshits. No bullshits on Rickety Ski Reviews. If he likes the ski, he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you what's good about the ski and what's not good about the ski. All right. And and Elliot used to race at the uh, Burke Mountain Academy, so you know he's he's a very good skier, and uh, his knowledge of skiing is is quite vast, actually. Um, of course, how could I forget? Rise in Alpine. Okay, James, who's always, uh, you know, chugging the hot sauce, his, uh, his, own, his own brand, it's called Liquid Courage. And uh, he's an amazing skier. He's an amazing skier. And he's always skiing, you know, the really super death-defying stuff at Whistler Blackcomb. And he does it with a joie de vivre that nobody else has on the internet. So once again, Rise in Alpine. So let's review. SkiEssentials.com, Lucas Catania, Rickety Ski Reviews, Rise in Alpine. Those are four great uh, YouTube ski channels. And how could I forget Marius Quest? Marius Quest, most of his videos are in German. He's an amazing skier. He's a great cinema photographer like Lucas. And uh, he, you know, he will take you everywhere. And he, he's a beautiful skier. And even if I don't understand German, I still enjoy watching his videos. So Marius Quest, that's with a Q, Q-U-A-S-T.
Hey everybody, okay, the ski day is over. I descended over 9,000 vertical meters with this Black Crow's Mirror's Core, as you see right here, you see the shovel. Um, here's what I would say about this ski. If you are the type of person who wants to have a quiver, right, and meaning that, you know, you have your race carving ski and you have your powder ski, this ski is really good for those in-between days. You, remember, it's 87 millimeters underfoot. And, you know, you've got a very wide shovel here. So even when you get into soft snow, you can push through a lot of it. There are two things you need to know. Number one, I wouldn't go incredibly fast with this ski. If race carving is very important to you, this is not your ski. However, if you love to make turns and you love to feel the carve, only on a few turns did the tail actually wash out while I was skiing. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed the feel and the responsiveness of the ski, okay? Now, of course, uh, all I skied on was the piece today. There's very, the snow is very limited off piste and uh, there weren't hardly any bumps to be skied. So there's nothing I can tell you about there. Needless to say, these are very quick turning skis and you'll be able to maneuver your way through those bumps, no problem. Would I buy this ski? Abso-freaking-lutely I would. Now, the only thing that's, the only, the only negatives of this ski are, if super speed, high speed carving is what you crave, this is not your ski. I, I know I said that before, but I wanna reiterate that, okay? That, that, that uh, the ski was chattering just a little bit at speed. It's not a negative thing. It didn't really bother me, but it can bother some. I can somebody who's a big race uh, person that that might affect them. So, all in all, to Julien Renier, you've made a wonderful ski. I would definitely buy it, and I think you should definitely try the Black Crow's Mirror's Core. This is Alu signing off from Zermatt. Hope you enjoyed the review, and it would be so kind if, if you liked and subscribed the video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.